Hello everyone and welcome to Programming Tutorials. In these tutorials we present real and applicable knowledge of programming, machine learning, control theory, optimization, applied mathematics, robotics, mechatronics, etc. Over here you can see the Visual Studio Code or in short VS Code Editor. VS Code Editor is a very powerful editor for creating, debugging and compiling programs written in C, C++, Python or Java. Another important thing about this software is that it is released under the MIT license. The MIT license is a permissive free software license. In this video tutorial I will explain how to number one install Visual Studio Code. After you install Visual Studio Code, you will not be able to directly compile C or C++ code files. That's why, number two, I will explain how to install C or C++ extension that enables us to compile C or C++ code files. Then, I will explain how to compile and run a simple C, C++ code program in Visual Studio Code. But before I start with explanations, I would like to emphasize the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this free video tutorial as well as other video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. And consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much. Okay, fasten your seat belts and let's start. In order to be able to compile C or C++ code files in VS Code, we need to have an appropriate compiler. You can use different compilers, however, I strongly suggest you that you use Microsoft Visual C++ or MSVC compiler toolset. The Microsoft Visual C++ compiler comes in package with the Visual Studio and let us first verify that you have a recent version of Visual Studio. To check that, click on Start and type Visual Studio Installer. If you see something like this, this means that you actually have Microsoft Visual Studio. Again, Visual Studio is completely free and it's a different software package from VS Code. I said that Visual Studio is free, however, this is not completely correct. Visual Studio Community is completely free. If you don't have the Visual Studio Community, I suggest you that you install it. To install it, just type Visual Studio Community. And follow the appropriate link and download and install this amazing software. To download Visual Studio Community, you can click over here and the download process will start. After that, you will see your Visual Studio setup file. Just click on this file and install Visual Studio. After you install the Microsoft Visual Studio Community, we need to make sure that you have properly installed the compiler. To do that, click on Start and type Visual Studio Installer. Click here and click on Modify. Over here, you need to make sure that this option is selected. By selecting this option, you will install the Microsoft Visual Studio compiler that is necessary for compiling programs in VS Code. If this option is not selected, for example, if you select this option, you will, you will need to click on Modify. However, I will not do that since I can see over here that everything is being installed. And for us, the most important thing is the compiler, MSVC. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Close this window and type Visual Studio Code. Click on this link and click over here, Download for Windows. Open the file and go through the installation process. Click on Next, select the folder, 
click on next next and install next let us launch the VS Code editor click on start and type VS Code here is our Visual Studio Code and here it is the next step is to install the C or C++ extensions for VS Code to do that we can either click over here or if you cannot see this option you can simply press Control, hold shift and x to go to the extension tab over here type c++ and you will immediately see this extension this extension will enable us to use c or c++ compiler in vs code click on install Okay, now you get a message. This extension is enabled globally. Perfect. Next, close the VS Code editor. To be able to compile C or C++ code files in VS Code, we need to use a developer command prompt for Visual Studio. To launch the developer command prompt for Visual Studio, we need to click on Start and we type Developer. You should see this option click over here and now we are in the developer environment and know that this developer environment is different from the standard command prompt that I can launch by typing command or by simply clicking over here since I will not be able to use the compiler in this command prompt simply because the compiler is not linked to my path Consequently, we need to launch VS Code and compile our code files by using developer command prompt. Next, we need to verify that the Microsoft Visual Studio compiler is properly working. We can do that by typing CL and we should see this message. This message tells us that this command prompt is able to recognize our compiler and this is a very good sign. Perfect. Next, let us create a working folder and VS Code workspace. To do that, type cd. Then let's create some folder on our C drive, for example. Test1. Go to Test1 folder. And in this folder, we will initiate our VS Code environment. To do that, we will type code dot and magic happens here I will select this option and click yes I trust the authors let's click on new file and let's give a file name for example let's save this file over here and here's our file. Next, let's create a simple C++ code. First, we need to include this library. Then we need to type using namespace std. This is our main function. We return zero. And over here we will type a message. See out. Hello world. And end line. And after that, let's type see out my first program. in VSC code. The next step is to compile our file and to run the code. To do that, click over here and click Run C, C++ file. Over here, we will select our compiler, that is, we'll be using cl.executable. Click over here 
and here is the result here is our terminal and we can see hello world my first program in VS Code and that's exactly what this code is doing it's printing these two messages over here you can see interesting things we can see our executable file we can see our object file and other file another important file that I will not explain in this video tutorial due to the brevity it is this file over here in VS Code double click and open this file this file is very important since it prescribes the main properties and instructions to our compiler for example over here you can see that we are using cl.exe that is the Microsoft Visual Studio compiler and these are the options for the compiler more about this in my next video tutorial okay that would be all for today I hope that you like this video if you like the videos I create please press the like and subscribe buttons thank you very much and have a nice day